Alex, um, can you just tell us you know, how you're feeling as you embark upon a really exciting chapter in your career? Yeah, no, I'm very excited. Um, it's, a, it's a big moment for my family. Uh, and I'm just very, very thrilled to hopefully look forward to what, um, what the next steps have on offer. Can you tell us how this all came about? Yep, so it was myself and my agent. Um, he kept me informed um, six weeks or you know, close to six weeks ago um, about a particular interest and Bournemouth were the ones that caught our eye and were very intentional with their, um, with their this, the, the proposal um, and the, you know, the fantastic opportunity to, um, for them to give to me. So um, that's how it kind of came all about and then my agent went from there. So you're going from the A-League to the Premier League. Has, has this happened a bit more quickly than perhaps you had expected it might? Um, if you take into account where I was last season, um, I would like to say it's probably quicker than usual. But at the same time, um, throughout the season, I've grown, I've learned, I've developed, and I don't think I would have been in this position without the the support of my staff and you know my teammates as well to get me into a position to you know have this opportunity to to sign with Bournemouth in the Premier League. And in your discussions with the club, have they given you an idea of, of what their plan for you is? Are you are you, you know, for example, are you going to be pushing for a place in that first team squad? What's what's your understanding of that? Yes, we've we've discussed an um, an action plan, um, and I'd like to reiterate it's a it's a four year deal, and they wouldn't be giving me this four year deal without a potential um, opportunity or an action plan um, invested in me. So there is discussions with the action plan and what that what that looks like. What was your reaction when you found out? Premier League club was keen to sign you? Yeah, I mean, I was, I don't know, I was lost for words, to be fair. Um, it was, it's a big moment for me and my family uh, to, to get um, an opportunity from, from Bournemouth to, to actually be interested in, in signing me as well. So I'm just very grateful for that. And what about Bournemouth um, appealed to you? What about Bournemouth appealed to me? It was more the, the fact that I had conversations with Simon Francis um, the friendly um, nature that he came across to me, uh, the intent, the intention um, that they brought um, towards the action plan when I'm going over to Bournemouth. Um, and then what also satisfied me as well is that they looked at me personally for my goal abilities, not anything else as well. Um, the fact that you know I can play out from the back, um, I'm a shot stopper as well. The fact that they were able to look at those um, abilities in me first and foremost, what drawn is what drawn um, my attention. And so, what does the next um, like month or so look like in terms of sure have some New Zealand commitments? I presume, and then um, yeah, when do you sort of go there? Yeah, I'm I'm not too sure. Um, that's something for my agent to um, to deal with and to discuss. Alex must have been a pretty special moment telling your family that this deal got done. Yes, a hundred percent. Yes, it's a it's a big moment for me, and, uh, for my family as well, um, especially where we've grown up as well. It's it's very special. Obviously, a super exciting move, but are you sad to be leaving the Phoenix? Obviously, a team that you've grown up with in a way. Yeah, um, as I said before, um, as a kid, I've grown up watching the Phoenix play, um, and to to leave here with. Um, with the Premier League club as well is, is fantastic to know that I've left there um, creating a bit of history or leaving my part within the Wellington Phoenix. Um, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And Sean, just for you, what was this sort of deal like for the club? Was it a difficult one to make happen or a reasonably easy deal to make? No, it was, um, it was actually really good negotiation. Um, we obviously heard from um, uh, Alex's agent, Tony Rallis, of the interest, uh, and then we spent probably a good three or four weeks, you know, working through what they looked like uh, from a club perspective, but also, you know, taking into consideration what it looked like for Alex as well. And then we got to a point where it made sense for the club, made sense for Alex, and it was the it was the right thing to do. Obviously, there's the element of the owner of Bournemouth has a stake in Auckland FC. Some fans might be concerned that there's a chance he could get loaned there. Is that something that could happen, or it's not a possibility? As we understand at the moment, it's not something that can happen. Cool. Gilly, what does this mean for the football club in terms of, I mean, I don't want to just treat AP like a commodity, <laughs> but it's sort of the uh, fact is that there's a financial yeah. Yeah. element to this. What does it mean for the club to be able to, um, you know, see a play come to the academy and then 
I guess, send him off to follow his dreams, but also cash in at your end. Yeah. Look, I think there's a couple of things here. I think it's a, again, it's a fantastic, um, I guess, endorsement recognition of the pathway that's been built here. You know, uh, obviously the investment from the owners, uh, the governance that the board has put in place, and, and the fantastic work that the staff in the academy and the first team do. So. I think we have to acknowledge all that uh, and it also, I think it really highlights now when you think about the move that AP's had, uh, Libby, you know, Wayno, Sarpreet, there is a very good pathway here now that, you know, bring kids through at 15, 16 through a very good program uh, into the first team and I think we, we made a really good move this year saying that we need to play these kids right because if AP hadn't played this year he wouldn't be doing what he's doing now so to actually have the um, ability to play the kids and the, and the club push that has been fantastic as well um, and obviously financially look it, 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 it's going to help it really helps you know when you think about what's going on with APL at the moment central distribution is potentially going down etc etc it's, it's just going to help Put some money into the club to keep it sustainable and hopefully develop the next, you know, uh, AP. <clears throat> Ruben, um, can you just talk a bit about Alex's development? He said like a year ago this probably wouldn't have happened. 26 games, didn't miss a minute. All the stats, we've all seen them. Uh, can you talk a bit about his development over the last 12 months? Yeah, I, th I think it's worth talking about development over the last probably 24 since I came in. Um, and AP was, was a number two. Uh, wasn't playing with, with the, the first team. Um, but straight away I could see the quality, uh, I could see the way that he worked, that he applied himself uh, on the pitch, off the pitch. Um, and what's been really rewarding or really pleasing for me is seeing that shift into the A-League. Um, and obviously this was my first full year with the club. Um, but thinking back to that first game against Western Sydney Wanderers, in the first five minutes, you uh, pluck one out the top corner. Um, and not just that, but he's had a, a really good full game and then backed it up against Perth. And I think what was surprising about that was just how quickly he adapted um, to the level, to the pressure. Uh, and that was really rewarding. And we all believe that he had that ability, but my question was more around how long would it take for him to be able to show that. And he did it within five minutes in the first game. So it shows how special AP is as a player. Um, and he's earned everything that, that's coming his way at the moment. Can you just talk about the trajectory, career trajectory of a goalkeeper? Um, we often hear that they perhaps take a little bit longer um, yep. than outfield players and, and obviously can go longer at the other end. But where do you um, assess Alex to be on his career trajectory at the moment? We've spoken about this right at the start. <laughs> no, obviously he's, he came into the academy um, at 15 and he was playing football before that, right? Um, but at, at 21, normally the goalkeepers are a two or three year lag behind outfielders um, in terms of their progression. Um, so. AP at 21 to be making a move to what's regarded the best league in the world and not only that, have interest from three clubs within that league um, speaks volumes to where he's at now um, but it's important that the same mindset, the same work ethic that he's displayed the last few years that I've seen him and, and even before that, um, that if he continues with that I think sort of the world is always there that he can go as high as, as he can. I think the development plan now is in Bournemouth's hands as well at least for the next four years um, and they've got a, a really good reputation for developing players, but also goalkeepers. Um, so I'm really excited for them to, to, to write by AP, and I know that they will. Um, and I'm excited for AP to take those chances and, and show what he can do every step of the way. Yeah. And, yeah, and brilliant. And have you let yourself think about playing at Old Trafford, playing at the Emirates, <laughs> playing at the wonderful Anfield? Um, you know, are these the thoughts that have been sort of circulating in your head in quiet moments? Uh, to be honest, it hasn't actually, um, I haven't actually really thought about that, um, those type of, you know, scenarios playing in my head um, at first. It was more about, you know, the significance of this, um, of this transfer going to Bournemouth and then also just um, repaying the sacrifices that my family made for me to um, be present at this moment um, and, you know, be put in a position today where I can say, um, I've got uh, a great opportunity to put myself out there to play in the Premier League. Um, Sean, what's it like for you guys as a club when you have like Bayern Munich and now Premier League clubs that you're dealing with wanting to, to sign the players? Like, that must be quite exciting. Yeah, it's it's you know, it's definitely fantastic, right? It's a, it's again, it's a, it's a great endorsement and a great tick for the club to be having conversations with these particular clubs, right? And. You know, hopefully in the future we'll be having more of them with the likes of the Sermons and the Ben Olds and et cetera, et cetera, right? So it's, um, yeah, it's brilliant. 
you anticipating there could be more deals done in, in this offset? Because yeah, there's been a few um, good performances from from young players. Yeah, look, we there's a lot of noise around some of the players at the moment. Um, you know, a couple of agents in regular contact about potential clubs that are that are interested in a couple of players. So, um, I would I would I would expect we'll we'll have further conversations at some point. Um, you know, for some of these guys, it's the right time to be to be going on and, and taking the next challenge in their career. And how do you go about <laughs> replacing Alex? Um, you've got Albion on a um, scholarship deal, and Jack Duncan's off contract. Is there anything you can say around? And what, yeah, what your plans are for Yeah, look, we, we've, we've, uh, we're having discussions at the moment as a, as a staff, uh, Ruben and uh, Giancarlo and I, uh, about w what it looks like, where we want to go with the goalkeeping side of things for next year. We've had some conversations with Jack Duncan. They, they remain live. Um, and we'll, we'll make sure we do our due, due diligence and you know find the right person to replace AP. It's not going to be easy. Uh, there's a certain way that Chiefy wants to play uh, and a certain style that he's looking for from the goalkeeper, so we have to make sure we, we find that right player. And Alex, it's a big goal for you now to uh, make your All-Whites debut as well, so there's too many people would get like, a Premier League move before <laughs> a senior international debut, but is that something you'd like to do this year? Yeah, um, it would be fantastic to um, get the opportunity to, you know, make a debut for the All-Whites as a kid as well. That's one of the things you want to always do is represent your country, the, the country that you know, you've, you've lived uh, and, you know, throughout your whole life as well. So um, again, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity to you know, potentially um, make my debut for, for the All-Whites. But again, it's, it's up, to, um, up to the coach and I just want to make sure that I'm keeping my head down and putting my uh, best uh, front foot forward. Just don't watch you in South Africa have made an ambitious play to... <laughs> Not that I've heard of. <laughs> Gilly, a few questions from Victor Waters yes. as well at TNZ. Uh, how important is the transfer fee for the continued development of the club? Yeah, as we said before, it's, 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 it's critical, right? It's, a, it's another stream of revenue that is really important to the club uh, at this time. It helps uh, you know, bridge the deficit that, that is reasonably significant at the moment uh, and allows us to continue what we're doing uh, in the academy space, uh, in the A-League men's space, in the A-League women's space. So it's, yeah, it's really important. Apart from that financial injection, why was the offer from Bournemouth so appealing? Um, look, there's a... There's a it's not just about what we get out of it. I think it's also about what's 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 important for the player and what fits for the player. Uh, and in this particular instance, you know, obviously the financial uh, aspect of it for us was was exceptional. You know, it goes into I think the top five transfers in the A League. It's obviously our biggest one by by a country mile. Um, but but just as important to that is it made sense for AP and it made sense for AP's trajectory as well as a goalkeeper. So when you've got to factor all those things in to, to, to get the right right move. Do you think Auckland FC, Bill Foley's arrival in the A-League influence Bournemouth's you know, decision to sign Alex, you know, more eyes on the competition? Yeah, look, hard to tell. I, I think uh, I think what we've seen over the last two or three transfer windows is a lot more eyeballs on the A-League uh, anyway. You know, if you think about Gauchi obviously going to Aston Villa, Jordi Boss, um, Mark Attilio to Celtic, uh, you know, Wayno, I guess, even to Plymouth. You know, there, there are a lot more eyeballs on the A-League as it stands at the moment. Um, but look, it's fantastic to have a guy like Bill Foley in the league now, you know, with his connection to Bournemouth, and it's, it's great to have another set of eyes on it. And on that, no danger of Alex being loaned to Auckland? Our understanding is no danger at the moment. <clears throat>